Here it is, my pan tilt antenna tracker, um, my own design. After quite a few uh, revisions, it um, here's where I'm at right now. I've got a stepper motor in there for um, the panning function, and just a servo uh, 645 MG for the tilt function. Um, I had previously uh, a, a servo uh, RC servo. Um, this is another 645 MG geared with um, uh, a gear I, I printed out on my one of my 3D printers and um, it has a, a bearing uh, on the top to support the gear so it's actually really solid um, I think I had it geared for 2.2 to 1 um, gearing and what I'll, what I'll probably do is modify for continuous rotation and use uh, an external um, externally geared uh, potentiometer to uh, control the amount of rotation. But anyhow, getting back to this uh, unit, it's um, all the parts were custom designed by myself uh, in OpenSCAD and uh, and then printed out with uh, one of the 3D printers. Even the gears here um, were printed out. I'm actually quite happy with the way they turned out. They're nice, nice um, smooth meshing and um, they're, I am happy with them, they turned out well. The um, stepper motor, it's a NEMA 17 um, and uh, 900 megahertz uh, receiver here connected uh, with a fairly long uh, coax cable to allow uh, it to um, rotate 360 degrees. You can see right now the movement I get. You can actually see the acceleration. That's 360 degrees one way, 360 degrees the other. The acceleration I've got, um, got a little bit of jitter still. Um, it's just from the pop uh, on the radio. Um, anyhow, the um, acceleration is um, and deceleration is key to the fast movements. The, the, I've got the small movements working at about. Um, it doesn't actually move until it, it uh, needs to move two degree, uh, a two degree movement. So I can we'll see how I'll see how well the the Eagle Tree FPV station works for um, for driving. And I haven't had a chance to hook everything up and test it. But um, this is being driven. the The pan function is being driven by a custom controller I designed. It's a basically a um, um, an Arduino Pro Mini with a Polulu stepper driver and right now I'm just driving it from a receiver um, and I've written the code myself for um, the loop for basically converting the signal from the the PDM, PWM from the, the receiver into um, some stepper movement code for panning. Um, the FPV station, I made a case for it, um, designed it on OpenSCAD, printed it out on the, one of the 3D printers. I'm happy with the way it turned out. Um, it's a nice a solid case and it will allow for uh, mounting it um, on the uh, on the antenna tracker um, securely and uh, well it won't uh, should protect it from in getting getting sh uh, shorted out or anything like that on it you can see um, you can see all of the um, LEDs in there um, you have access to all the buttons and the USB and uh, the level controls and um, I think I've got everything marked uh, right and uh, should be good to go. I'm happy with the way that turned out. Um, I like it better than the, the shrink wrap on there. There's nothing wrong with the shrink wrap. I'm sure it works fine. I just wanted to have uh, more of a structured case for it. Um, so yeah, that's it. Uh, I'm going to have to do some more testing uh, to see how well the stepper works for the panning function. It's uh, been quite a challenge to get the code uh, uh, working to um, so I can have small movements and um, f um, really large fast movements. Um, I think I've got something that's workable but I won't know until I get it on the FPV station and uh, give it a shot. Anyhow, thanks for watching. Have a good one.